you guys and welcome to today's video so today i wanted to try and style ballet flats i've had my pair of ballet flats for like a year or so now and i don't know i don't wear them very often because i just like i feel like i don't know how to style them so i kind of just like took some clothes you know some ideas in my head and i tried to style them for you guys so before we get started i just want to let you know what um ballet flats i have they are prada but they are vintage i thrifted them off a of thread up for like i want to say like 30 us dollars or something like that yeah they're super super cute and they're like the like the very 2010 ones that are like scrunchier right very 2010 style but i kind of was like you know what these are cute they're prada and they're black and like they even have like the little prada detailing like on the side there so i just they're super cute and i bought them if you guys like ballet flats and you're looking to buy some go to thread up thrift them like i see so many in the thrift store but like also think about what kinds what kind of ballet flats you want because there's ones like these where they're like really like very flat okay very flat very flimsy not very structured right and while i do like i do think that these are cute i think i would have rather a pair of more structured ballet flats like kind of like similar to i guess like the chanel ones where it's very like kind of square and very a lot sharper and a lot less like soft looking if that makes sense but um if you have a hard time thrifting you know there's no good thrift stores in your area urban outfitters surprisingly has like some decently like cheaper options i guess like they're like 50 40 50 dollars which like is surprising considering urban outfitters but i really like their options they're more similar to this though um they kind of look like the Miu Miu ones like that's like kind of what they're ripping off but they're super cute yeah anyway so basically this entire video is me trying to style these ballet flats yeah let's just get into it hi you guys to preface i'm gonna say i'm so sorry like if this like background just like isn't it for you um i'm trying something new by filming this in my living room it's in my bedroom the lighting is kind of better here but it is like kind of busy so i understand if you want to click away <laughs> But yeah, let's just get into this. I have my ballet flats here. And I think for the first outfit, I'm gonna start with something kind of simple. Cause I feel like to make ballet flats look like they're not from like 2010, then you have to wear baggy pants. And I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of stolen this idea from Matilda Jerf, but yeah, I'll put these on. Okay, baggy jeans are on, and then for the top, like this like kind of whole outfit's like kind of stolen from Matilda Jerf, I'm not going to lie, but I'm gonna put it on this little striped shirt. Okay, so here it is, and let's throw on ballet flats super quick. And voila, here we are. So you might recognize this outfit if you saw my video where I recreated some, some Matilda Jerf looks for a week, but yeah, this is like low-key like inspired slash stolen from her but i think it's fun i feel like to make like ballet flats look right in this generation of fashion like you gotta like literally just put it with like cute outfits from today which i think the baggy jeans and just like the plain casual top like it's really dressing it down which i think is like what us gen zers are all about it's just like dressing everything down because it's like it makes it feel like a lot more cutesy if that makes sense but Okay, let's go into the next outfit now. Okay, like I kind of want to try this on for the next, out like in between the next outfit because I feel like this might be cute. Okay, one, one second. Do you guys still think this is cute if I add like this little, this little oversized button up with it? I think it's kind of cute. I think it's kind of fun. It's more like adulty if you're like, you know, a little bit older and trying to style these things for 2023. And I think that this could be like cute and casual, but like also like more grown up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but now I'm gonna put on what I actually had this button up for, so one sec. Okay, this was my next outfit, but I feel like it's missing something. So I'm gonna try and put some like little frilly socks with it. So here is that outfit. And I'm actually like, now that I actually have this on and it's not in my head, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. But I do think it still like, takes all of those like styling tips. Like, okay, like things are, they're less like put together than they were when they were styled in like the 2010s. This is very, literally took all these things out of my closet randomly and just put them together and then, and then called it an outfit. And I kind of think that that's very <laughs> 2023 styling. Like that's the very 2023 fashion is there are no rules. And that's 
that's why I think I, I kind of like it. Like, I don't know, it's kind of camp. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Well, we have like the little frilly socks on, let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, and here is the next outfit. And for this one, I think it like ballet flats are just like, they're very girly. They're very, I don't know, they make me feel young. Maybe that's just because when ballet flats are popular, I was like eight years old. Yeah, I feel like they just like have such like a young and girly vibe. So I paired it with like this little skirt, which is actually a skirt. And then like this little like kind of boat neck almost off the shoulder top. And I think these tops are just like really cute right now. They're very feminine. And I think it kind of just like really ties in the femininity of the shoes and the socks. And yeah, it's just like a modern outfit, but like with different shoes, which is kind of like how you have to go about styling these things. But I think skirts are just kind of the way to go with these, especially with like some fun socks. It's kind of hard to style just like on their own, just barefoot. But speaking of, I'm going to be <laughs> styling it in more ways that are barefoot because why not, you know? So yeah, that's this outfit. On to the next. Okay, and I'm back. So for this one, I kind of wanted to try styling them with tights and I I do like it like don't get me wrong I do like the tights but I just think like the top part isn't like matching like the vibe of the bottom I don't know maybe that's just me it's giving more so 2010 than 2023 but I think that if you had pattern tights like this or like colored tights they could be really fun to play around with especially for ballet flats because it looks more like it's actually in your skin instead of like just a tight I guess but I still do like this outfit nonetheless I still think it like has the same like girly vibes as the other one but it just more more of a 2010 vibe I guess okay actually I was gonna change outfits but then I really wanted to try it with this like jean maxi skirt okay wait let's not look at the back because there is a pocket that I haven't seen ripped yet but um I actually really like this I mean yeah it is like kind of giving like church outfit if you're like 30 but like also that could be fun I guess I feel like just everything looks good with maxi skirt and I think like the tights like poking through is so fun. I did have like an outfit planned for this maxi skirt so I'm gonna put that on after this. I'm gonna take off the tights and try it with like a t-shirt. This is like more so how I imagine like styling ballet flats is just like very casual because ballet flats are supposed to be like your like comfy version of a heel right? So if you style them in a way that's like super like casual very like lightweight and like very free I think that they work really well I guess. But yeah this is this outfit is like very comfortable like I feel like this will be so perfect for like summer or like once it starts to get warmer oh wait I actually really like this outfit wait and like a little jean bag okay hopefully this looks good on camera because I literally can't see anything from this far next outfit okay I wanted to show you guys this discovery um because I hated it so much that I felt like I had to share it with you but <laughs> What is this? I thought it might be cute with the black socks because that's how I wear my Oxfords. I was wrong, so let's just change that for this outfit. Well, for one, I feel like my, my shorts need to be a lot baggier, but um, it seems that I have grown since last summer and they're kind of tight on me now. So just pretend that these are really baggy. I kind of want the, like, as I said before, to style them like I would like a pair of Oxfords. And that's kind of what I tried to do here. I tried to keep the very like casual, breathy, airy vibe, but it's like, okay. Like I said, I think like the, the shorts just need to be like really baggy to kind of offset like the properness of the shoes. And I think it would look so much better. So yeah, like we're kind of getting to the last couple of outfits i think i only have one more left okay and then for the last outfit here it is and instead of playing on like the whole fact that they're like the more casual version of heels like they're meant to be worn casually so that like, they're not uncomfy i decided like let's try it out when it's like made to look like prim and proper i guess not that this outfit's very prim and proper at all i'm literally in a mini skirt but uh, this is a blazer and like that's like close enough I guess. I think this outfit's like kind of fun. It is like kind of more campy than some of the other looks but I'm not like mad at any of these looks. I think some of them were kind of cute and like fun. Fun to play around with like ballet flats and like literally just inserting them into like any like 2023 outfit and just like seeing what happens. But um honorable mention to leg warmers. These are your ticket for ballet flats and i know i didn't include like a single outfit with leg warmers in this video like, here's some from pinterest so you can see what i'm talking about because like that this is the number one way to style them i'm just like not in like as much of a winter mood so like i haven't really felt like styling leg warmers so okay you guys well i guess that was the end of this video and i think i did an okay job i think some of these were definitely a little out there but i still think that they were kind of cute like there was definitely like a beginning to like what i could do i guess i think honestly they're more like a fall winter shoe in my opinion than a 
spring summer one but i actually i really liked them with the maxi skirt i thought that was super cute i'm definitely gonna have to like try and style that a little bit more but yeah if you like this video let me know down below and make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time